Today's Tough Like Tunes Hado can kick you into shape and help you master the fighting style of Muay Thai. Yo, do you do that? Your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade is back with another episode of Tough Like the Tunes for y'all today. And I hope you enjoy this one because we're finally getting those video game characters in. I know they do some anime stuff, but I'm just happy to do it. And I gotta cover my boy Ryu and my girl Chun Li because, you know, we can't spell legendary without leg day. I mean, look at my legs, look at her legs, just mm, match made in heaven. Ryu and Chun Li have just been the most highly requested ones for our Street Fighter on this list. And I just, I was like, okay, I love both these characters. I wanna do both of them justice. So I honestly decided to fuse them together. So for today's Tough like tunes workout we're going to be alternating doing upper body and lower body of course because we had to do that okay so like what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing three upper body days focusing on getting that real upper body strength and getting you nice athletic and strong and also combat ready so it's not just like oh i look super swole you're actually functional and can like use your muscles to benefit you for whatever you want to accomplish but then on the other days we're going to be doing a lower body split where we focus on using just training the lower body it's going to be like sort of a hit training method but it's not going to be easy whatsoever as a matter of fact when i did this the first time like filming this my legs hurt for like three days afterwards because they were just like oh god they're just so sore but it's going to be so worth it in the end and I can't wait for y'all to try it. And as with all my workouts, remember to warm up for at least 10 minutes beforehand and at least drink two bottles of water or at least four cups of water, have that in your system before getting ready to go because this is an intense workout and I hope you enjoy it and it's going to be hard and challenging so let's just get right into it. Train hard. All right, so Monday, we're gonna start off with a nice press routine because Ryu has just absolutely strong triceps, chest, shoulder muscles. She's just super, super, like I'm miring. I'm miring whenever I see Ryu on screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a bench press. Now you're gonna do two sets of 10 with a warm up weight. Just remember a light weight in addition to doing your normal upper body warm up or full body warm up, whatever one you want to do on my channel. Just make sure that you do that beforehand. This is just to make sure like everything is is safe everything is like working properly and then when we get into the actual bench press what I want you to do is I want you to do four sets of five reps and when you get to five reps you can do no more with good form like this is a, a way to build up some strength and power in those muscles because Ryu is one strong powerful dude and this is a great way to help you build up that for yourself but remember what you want to do is you want to focus on that four sets five reps you can also use a barbell bench press if you want to remember I always use dumbbells because of my shoulder impingement and this is just a way that helps me get the workout in and feel like I've done a great effective thing for helping to build my body up and for this exercise you can either make a conditioning exercise where you rest less than 60 seconds when doing it or if you want to go for more of a muscle mass muscle strength route then you can rest 90 seconds but either choose which one you want to do like that's what you're gonna do with this exercise for the the strength training days you either choose a rest period of 45 seconds if you're trying to get more conditioning or trying to do more muscle mass than 90 seconds max after that we were going to go into some light shoulder presses for a conditioning exercise and we're going to be doing some alternating dumbbell presses so when you press the weight up the other weight comes down and you just alternate pressing and lowering each weight on opposite arms. You should be using dumbbells in a neutral grip position. This is a great exercise for just blowing up those delts and getting you nice blood flow and just man, like you feel pumped up. You like you get all sorts of erections in your freaking shoulders, brother. Okay, I'm just saying that, but it's really a great exercise, great at conditioning you, great at getting the strength going, and also great for building conditioning. So when you throw punches that you actually have the conditioning that you don't have to worry about, oh God, my arms are giving out on me. So this is another phenomenal exercise. Following that, we're gonna go into some plyometric clap push-ups or plyometric clap god makers, because you know how we do it on this channel. And it's just a simple exercise. You know, just press yourself up as many times as you can for four sets of 30 seconds. All right, just do as many as you can in 30 seconds. This is a great way to build up power, strength, muscle mass, and just getting those fast twitch muscle fibers working so that you can have that more flicker effect when you're fighting, you know, pow, pow you know just get it in there so make sure you're working those at the best of your ability and remember if you can't do them then just go to your knees there's no shame in going to your knees I always say that like we all have to start somewhere and you know just that's what you're gonna do like again if you like cap out like let's say you only do five clap push-ups and then you just like completely die then just go on your knees and then continue them from there so you can continue getting that muscle getting work so that is the best way to just always improve is just constantly pushing yourself to getting yourself to grow 
After we follow those clap push-ups, we're gonna go into some heavy shoulder press. Now again, take your time with this. You can either use a barbell or a dumbbell is what I'm doing right here. And then we're gonna just do four sets of eight to 12 reps. And you know, just go at your own pace. Pretty simple. Just I use a neutral grip position because remember it keeps my shoulder in the plane of movement to where my shoulder does not get injured at all. I prefer to use it. But again, you can use a barbell. You can use whatever form you want if you're as long as you're doing the form properly and controlling the weight. Like this is just another way to build up strength and muscle mass in the upper body so you can do that and get those nice aesthetics and also get that nice strength gains. Then we finish off with some bear crawls from wall to wall. If you ever done MMA or a gym class, they'll have you do these back and forth. So all you're going to do is just walk high. I'm walking right here across the room. Like this will burn like hell, like your legs and your arms, especially after doing this upper body weight training. It is not fun, but it's just what you got to do. So do, do three sets continually there and back. So just like one across the room, one back, one across, one back, one across, one back. And then you're done with the upper body workout for that day. Then on Tuesday and Thursday, it's the legendary leg day, people. You gotta get those Chun-Li Moy thighs, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with burpee lunge kicks with the right leg and burpee lunge kicks with the left leg. So it's pretty simple. You're gonna do a burpee, jump up, do a lunge, then do alternating kick like I'm doing right here. This is a great way to build plyometric power and movement and just strengthen the legs overall. And you will get worn out doing these. Trust me, these are some exercises where you you will get worn out. So remember, take your time, and if you're not flexible enough or strong enough to do it, then you know you can just do a burpee lunge, or you can just do a normal burpee, and then you know gradually work in the kicks. It all It's always about improving yourself so you can gradually get better. You don't have to worry about like, oh God, I'm gonna like, like have a hard time. If you ever feel like that, stop immediately. Don't ever feel like, oh, I'm, my heart's about to pop and stuff like that because I don't want you to get hurt. I want you just to build your body up and get stronger. So again, focus on the burpee lunge kick. It's a great way to build up power, strength, muscle mass, all of that in the leg. Then we're gonna go into broad jumps. And what you're gonna do is just get down in a low squat position and then jump as far as you can. And try to land softly. Don't wanna just like slam and land your, you're gonna hurt your knees. Trust me, that's just not fun at all. But you wanna do that across the room. So get down, squat, and then jump as far as you can go. Like remember that this is just a great way to build up power, muscle mass, and strength in the legs. And one of my personal favorite things we used to do in track was just doing these little practices. And me and my friends would race each other and see like, oh, can we get past each other? Can we see how far we can go? And it's just like a very advanced form of leapfrog without like a person to jump over. And I just, I love it. I love it so much. One of the great exercises and one of the reasons I think my legs are so diesel because we did this all the time as a kid. So I love these exercises. These are then followed by one of my favorite exercises, the Hindu squat, where what we're gonna do is you're gonna get on the balls of your feet, and I've been talking about these so much throughout the year because I really do love Hindu squats because not only are they great for building up muscular strength and muscular endurance in the legs, but they're also great for rehabilitating the knee. So if you ever have any knee issues, like when doing squats, this is actually something that can help to fix it because it helped fix mine when I used to have problems with it back in the day, and I just love these exercises. All you gotta do is do the movement I'm doing right here, but again, if you feel like like, oh, this is just, I, I don't feel comfortable doing this. You can always do a basic body squat and then just do four sets of 50 reps. For, for me, I want to do four sets of 60 seconds with this, just seeing how many I can get in because it's just such a great exercise and you really feel it burning. If you've read Kengan Omega, then you know these are not for any jokers out there. They will freaking F you up. After that, we're gonna go into a squat tuck jump. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get down on your knees and then you're going to explosively jump yourself up and then explosively jump your legs in the air, tucking them and then landing softly. This is a powerful, powerful leg exercise to help build power and strength in them. One of the best exercises you can do. Just remember, follow what I'm doing right here to build it and it will help you jump so much higher. Like people ask me about my box jumps. This is one of my favorite exercises I do to help increase my box jump height and also increase like just my leg power. I love these exercises. Remember to land softly though. If you're not strong enough to do the squat tuck jump, then all you gotta do is just, you know, get into a basic squat and do a jump squat. That's all you gotta do. Just basic body squat, but jump at the very top of the movement. And if you're not strong enough to do that, then just do body squats or Hindu squats and gradually work your way up. This is just a way to help develop that power and mass and thickness because Chun-Li has some insane, insane power in all of her legs and all of her attacks and it's just like oh god 
Now, all of these exercises are helping you to develop strength, mass, and most importantly, power in the legs so you can actually kick like my girl Chun-Li because, you know, again, you can't spell legendary without leg day. I always, always say that. <laughs> and she has some of the best legs I've ever seen in fiction. So what we wanna do is we also wanna practice kicking because you can't just do a Chun-Li workout without kicking. That's her primary thing. I mean, like, even though I suck at kicking, I still practice it, it's still good. I, I, I personally, I have this whole uh, Tumblr post that my good friend Pants, who's a master kicker, she's like a badass, badass kicker, where she explains how to kick properly. I will leave it right here so you can all practice. Uh, definitely go check it out, it's in the description box down below, but like, I love the way she explains it and like, how to take your time and build up to it because that is so important and for kick practice i would say practice for at least 20 minutes on those tuesdays and thursdays when you're doing this routine but then when you finish that kicking routine we're gonna like just destroy those legs even further and just hold a simple wall sit you know exactly how to hold a wall sit like they make you do it in pe class like i remember doing this from fourth grade to eighth grade in pe class so like i'm pretty dang sure all of you know how to do it so just make sure you get low keep those legs nice and firm keep that core nice and tight and hold it there for approximately three sets of 60 seconds and just try to get 60 seconds. If you're not strong enough, remember three sets, 30 seconds, but you got this. Now, on Wednesday, we're going to get that back and bicep action because you want to have that Akuma stare when you go dark Ryu on them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So that's going to be dope. So we're going to start off with four sets of pull-ups to failure. So just do as many pull-ups as you can for four sets. Failure, again, resting between 45 to 90 seconds, whatever you choose to do if you want to do conditioning or whatever. Then we're gonna go into dumbbell rows, unilateral rows. We're gonna be doing rows on each arm. So what I'm gonna do right here is a row drop set. I'm doing eight reps with a heavy weight and then I'm gonna drop the weight down and I'm gonna do 15 reps with a light weight. And I'm gonna do that on each lat just to give it its own attention because I really feel like a lot of people when they do rowing techniques, sometimes their body overcompensates when they're doing the row. So it's just like, oh, they become sort of lopsided. But with this way, you're working each lat and each bicep on its own merit and you're gonna get some nice strong action in both sides so you're just like not you know a freaking quasimodo looking dude nothing against him just I'm just saying like this is what you want to do so it's just four sets of 10 reps with each of those and then four sets of 16 reps with the light ones on each arm so remember that is gonna help build your biceps build your back and get you that nice action so when you look behind you you got that like epic oh you trying to fuck with me, bro? You trying to fuck with me? Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's gonna be a cool little look. And then we go to preacher curls and hammer curls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three sets of 12 reps for each of those just to build the muscle mass in each arm. And what you wanna do is you wanna focus on, remember, lowering the weights, but also when you hit 12 reps, you can do no more with good form. So a great way to do this is just when you curl the weight up, slowly lower it down, and trust me, you will feel a burn with this if you do this properly. So what you wanna do is as soon as the weight goes up, you slowly lower it down by going A, B, C, then go up, A, B, C, D. You go up. Focusing on the eccentric when doing curls leads to greater strength gains and greater muscle gains, and this is just going to be one of those that helps you transform your body overall. All right, and Friday, we're gonna have a fun, challenging circuit for y'all to do. So each exercise is going to be 45 seconds on and 10 seconds off. So what I mean by that is you're gonna do the exercise for 45 seconds, then you're gonna rest 10 seconds, then move on to the next exercise for 45 seconds, then rest for 10, and then just repeat that. So what that's what we're gonna do right here. It'd be even better if you have a partner with you because it just adds a lot of fun to like doing the routine. But if you don't, I'll tell you how to do this just you know by yourself in the gym. Now we're gonna start off with ball throws. This is a great way to get the shoulders and triceps working and all you're doing is explosively pressing a ball up into the air and catching it, throwing it up, catching it. Great plyo movement, great for building power and strength in those triceps. Then after that you rest 10 seconds and then you move on into ball slams. Now these work even better if you have a ball that bounces but if you don't you can do what I'm doing here where you slam the ball into the ground and then kick your legs back like you're about to do a push-up on it but all you're doing is just like going back, slamming, going back slamming. So this, see what I'm doing right here is just a way to follow along with it. If you're not strong enough to do that, then again, you can just like slam the ball and then just pick it up and slam it over and over. But again, this works so much better if you have a medicine ball that actually bounces. Then you rest 10 seconds again, 
followed by ball pushes. So all you're gonna do is lie on the ground, get a ball, and just throw that shit as hard as you can. Yeet that shit in the air. Like, press it out of the way. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of my way. It's like someone's sitting in your face and you're pressing them out. Like, what the heck, man? And you keep doing that for 45 seconds straight. Really gonna work that chest and triceps. And it's just building up nice, strong power in your arms as well, which will help you transverse over to the fighting style. So this is just a great way to get it over. And it's just fun to just like, what the heck are you doing? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Uh, and then we're gonna go into some Hadokin throws. Now, this is better if you have a partner like what I'm doing right here because all we're doing is I'm literally getting a ball catching it and throwing it at them my friend as a hadokin like this is just 30 seconds of this great way to build up power like my triceps were dead after this exercise y'all it was such a fun exercise and all you gotta do is focus on doing this for 30 seconds with a friend and it's amazing and will work you out incredibly well but if you don't have this you can always do like uh, ball throws where you throw the ball against the wall and then catch it but one thing you want to do is make sure the walls are thick enough so that the ball will actually bounce off the wall and you can catch it because otherwise you'll just break wall then you have to pay for something and that's no good and then of course we got to finish up with some sure you can punches so all you gotta do is just do what i'm doing right here sure you can i'm sure you've done enough of these in your life you've done enough of these in your life i feel like you would know how to do this so just follow along with what i'm doing right here and this is just going to be a nice little finisher to the circuit and then you rest 90 seconds and then you repeat this circuit four more times and then your workout for that friday is done so that's a great way to look over it and of course, because this is Street Fighter, if you're trying to be like an actual Street Fighter, it's important to practice shadow boxing and actual sparring. So if you have a partner to spar with, then that is, I think that's one of the best things you do because it actually helps you become a better fighter. But if you're just trying to like get your timing down and practice, then shadow boxing is great. And like always focus on your form, practice, go at your own pace. It's a great way to build cardio. I've talked in depth about how much I love shadow boxing and how much I love sparring. It's just a great way to build up not only your confidence, but also increase your cardio increase some muscle tone and just help you become a better person overall so don't worry like it's just a fun thing you can do and you can incorporate that at least three days a week now here's the entire routine all overall remember what you're gonna do Monday is just a press day you're gonna focus on that Tuesdays and Thursdays are gonna be working on the legs Wednesday is your back and biceps and then Friday is your circuit routine and then on the weekends you can rest or you can shadow box do martial arts whatever you want but remember to always take the time to build up to doing these things so that you don't you know hurt yourself you don't get damaged anyway I want you to actually body build not body destroy like I always say because it's incredibly incredibly important and remember everybody is different and reacts differently which will be on a shirt soon so take your time work your way up and you too can be a badass street fighter so get after it Well, dudes and dudes, I hope you enjoyed today's workout, and I hope it was a fun little challenge for you, some just to switch it up if you want to get some variety in. And remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that bell icon. I'm going to be uploading a lot more Tough Like the Tunes because I've just filmed a lot of them, and I'm just waiting for them to get edited and finished. And, uh, like, oh, look at these characters. These are the characters that are coming up, so you have these to be excited for. And a special character, which if you look in the frame behind me, you know who's coming for episode 50 of Tough Like the Tunes because I promise I would do this character justice, so I just wanted to do that. And, uh, yeah, like, remember, Thank you all so much. Uh, if you want to get a program to actually help you get the motivation to do this, like you want to train like your favorite heroes, be sure to check out my program for A Hero's Will. It helps you develop the will to actually want to train like these characters, and that will be in the description box below. But anyways, I hope you train hard like Ryu and Chun-Li. And remember, like I always say, keep calm, booyah on. Don't forget, moment time. Hope you train hard.